Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Penovich here. We're talking about the big windstorm heading our way this weekend. I guess we should be lucky that it's only going to be wind because to our west, unfortunately, there's going to be quite the significant severe weather outbreak. We can really see this thing coming together right now um, as I'm talking. You can see the low pressure system, pretty big low pressure system. There's the cold front, there's the warm front, and the area we're watching is right here in the middle of the country. In fact, we're starting to see some of the first severe storms of the morning kind of developing already. Let me show you the water vapor loop quickly here, um, and I'll kind of show you how this thing is going to unfold. I mean, that is a pretty potent low pressure system with a lot of wind energy that is going to be coming across the country. So let me stop this right here, and we can see in the middle of the country, that's where the concern is today. So we'll look at the severe weather outlook for today. Um, I'm going to turn off the satellite data here and you kind of get the idea that is a huge area under a massive severe weather risk today and the area kind of highlighted there is where we have a really um, above average or really off the charts kind of setup for severe storms we're talking damaging winds and possible tornadoes as this pushes east but what you don't see there is the amount of wind energy that is going to be accompanying this whole thing as it pushes to the east the day two outlook shows yeah we're going to have some severe weather in the northeast and maybe in the carolinas as the storm kind of weakens a little bit and splits but it's still going to have a ton of energy as it pushes our direction let's focus first on the rainfall that we've got a few showers moving into the mountains this will not last long what's happening is the warm southerly winds are developing and some of this moisture is moving this way but it's heading up in this direction so if you're in the mountains and foothills you're going to see some showers today but the real action is going to happen tomorrow during the morning so let's get right to the updates so we'll start with our future cast of the rain and storm. So as we go through time this morning, you can see a few showers in the Carolinas, but here's the action right here in the middle of the country. And again, remember what's happening here. We'll go back and turn this on. Those are the severe storms that'll be moving into the middle of the country. So that's the area of concern today. As we go into tonight, that line continues to push east. And boy, man, this, those are all supercells there. There's going to be some embedded in here, but you could see certainly two distinct areas of severe severe weather that's going to be somewhat connected that's why you're seeing such a big area affected so we'll go into tonight this is 10 p.m um you can see most of the charlotte area the, the carolina is relatively dry but as we get into the overnight it does look like some showers will try to move into the mountains and foothills but the main line gets to the mountains <laughs> looks to me <coughs> excuse me around 6 a.m so whatever's left of that line of storms probably moving into the mountains now will it be weaker yes but there's so much wind energy that even a weakening line will probably produce some very strong winds at 7 a.m it starts to move into the foothills northwest piedmont and by about 9 or 10 starts to move into the charlotte area. so if you have you know 5ks marathons any kind of activities tomorrow this is the time frame you're looking at that kind of 8 a.m to like noon time frame you see those again some of these are pretty pretty gnarly looking storms and then that's it for the rain. That's it the rest of the day. So this is going to be very similar to last weekend. There's going to be some morning rain. Don't let don't let that make you think it's going to rain all day. Um, the rain is going to be in and out fairly quickly, and then it's done. Now, what you don't see, even as the sun comes out, the winds really begin to pick up. And I'll quickly show you here. I can actually turn on all the advisories here, and you'll see all them pop up in a minute, showing that we have high wind watches and warnings and advisories that are likely going to be up for most of the area. So all the advisories are on right now. And the purple area is a high wind watch, which will likely be upgraded to a high wind warning um, for tonight. We've already got one for the, the border with Tennessee. And then areas outside of there will likely be upgraded to a wind advisory, meaning we're going to have some really strong winds coming in with this system. So let's take a look at those winds. We can actually plot those um, as we look at the model data, just not the future cast. We'll look at the wind gust potential here. Um, I'll load this real quickly and I'll pause it. And you can see, yeah, uh, these winds are pretty strong. I'll kind of tally some of them in the middle of the country, but you can see these are down at the surface. We're likely going to have some pretty strong winds pushing east. So we'll go through time. Um, look at the reds and the pinks. That's where you really have issues with some strong winds. As we push this thing east, you can see the winds start to move into the Carolinas late tonight and early tomorrow morning. Winds will start to pick up as we get into the early morning hours. So if we look quickly, you know, we got some 30 to 35 mile an hour winds, some up to 40 some of the ridge tops a little higher we go into tomorrow morning 7 a.m yeah we're up around 35 to 40 mile per hour gusts that's going to be the norm but as we get closer as that front moves through that line some gusts go to 50. so with the line of storms you know we're going to have some gusty winds you really see by 9 a.m that's why i said 
the wind's a bigger story. Look how big the area of wind is affecting versus that skinny line of thunderstorms moving through. Um, we'll go into the afternoon hours. You know, the front moves through and you're like, oh, everything's fine, right? <laughs> Three, four, five o'clock in the afternoon, the winds start howling again. So by evening, look at some of these winds, you know, in the mountains, you're pushing 60 miles per hour. This is why you're seeing those numbers like we could see 50 mile an hour gusts because it's getting really close in some of these areas. That mixing coming off the mountains will definitely produce some really strong wind. So if we look real quickly at the max wind forecast right now from the Weather Service, they're going generally around 40 miles per hour with mid 40s in the foothills and then over 60 in the mountains. That's a generally good idea, I think, for what we should expect. But again, you know, don't read into the specific. It could be plus or minus about 10 miles per hour. So if you, if you do that, you know, you're probably looking at something that could be closer to 50. So just a heads up, this is going to be a real big windstorm as it moves across the country. Now, I'll loop this and kind of show you what this looks like. We'll just let it loop and you could see how this thing marches across the country and then it calms down on Sunday. So this is a this is a strong low pressure system. These strong low pressure systems tend to produce a lot of wind this time of year. You get interaction with the mixing of the day as well as the interaction with the mountains that will help mix down these strong winds to the surface. So it's a hold on to your hat Saturday. If you have any outdoor activities, yeah, we're watching for that rain in the morning, but also remember the wind is going to be howling the whole time. So tents, bouncy houses, trampolines, temporary structures, for sure they need to be extra secured and tied down because you don't want them flying and causing injury. Or in some cases you might need to take them down like the flags, um, stuff that you normally know that blows around, lawn furniture, hammocks, that kind of stuff. You might want to take it down tomorrow because it's going to be one of those days where you could lose it, could blow into the neighbor's yard, trash cans blowing around, that kind of Saturday. Of course, I'll post another update tonight. Stay weather aware as we get ready for a very, very windy Saturday.